Hey guys, I wanted to show you really quickly how to connect your um, broken laptop screen to an external monitor. Um, a lot of people's laptops nowadays will not automatically detect an external monitor connection. So if you plug in a VGA or plug in an HDMI to a laptop, um, you will not see a display. It will show just like this. What you need to do is give this about a minute to boot up. I have turned this off and I've just now turned it back on. And I've given it about a minute to boot up and now I should be at the home screen or with the login screen. If you don't have a password, lucky you, all you need to do is press enter, but I'll go that over that in a minute. So first I'm gonna go over if you have a password and you need to log into your account first. Um, so what you need to do is take your mouse pad and bring it all the way to the bottom left because there's three different ways to get into the type in your password area. You're going to click and you're going to scroll up. You're going to let go, you're going to click again, and then you're going to scroll down a few times and you're going to let go. Now you should be in the password area spot. Now type in your password. I'm going to go ahead and type in mine. Um, do this off screen. Okay. That is one. And press enter. Now we're going to do the option two. This is a, I'm still on the exact same screen because I'm, I'm not sure if I've logged in yet, to be honest. But we're going to go over to the two different methods that you can use. I just used the scroll all the way to the left, scrolled up, and then scrolled down, and that unlocks the password spot. Now we're just going to do the enter one. You press enter. And I believe that if I typed in my password last time, it would say password entered and I'd be on the home screen. So I'm either logged in right now or I'm still stuck at the, the time display right here with Windows 10 and then my little, my little icon here right in here in the center. And there's still going to be the need for me to type in my password. And after I pressed enter just now, it should say incorrect password. So I'm going to press it one more time and I'm going to put in my password. So boom, it will automatically log you in. You don't need to hit enter. So if it didn't log you in, here's the third try. You press enter one more time and type in your password again. That should eliminate every possibility for you to fail your login if you typed in your password correctly. My, my display, my homepage should now be, oh, I'm sorry, my homepage should now be showing. So it's obviously not shown, but it should be there. Now I can connect to an external, um, external monitor. And the way you do this is by the mirrored display key. Here it is. It may be F7 for a lot of people, and you also may need to hold down FN while doing this. So there's two different ways you can do this, the FN way, the FN plus the button, or just the button itself. For me, I know for a fact, just by doing that, that the FN keys are already showing there's no, there's no separate function. It will always do the first function it shows. And that's because I tested the black screen right here, which this, this means, um, cut off your display. So I already know that pressing this button should get me to the mirrored screen. For you, you could try holding FN and you're going to press it not once, but two times. Let's see. If I did this correctly, if everything went well, I should pull this up immediately. One, two. Oh, did I press the wrong button? Okay, one more time. One. Oh, well it pulled up there on the third one. Here it should have been should have been the second one. Did I overshoot it? Yep, so it should have been duplicate. Anyways, I did get it pulled up. It was on my third try. I thought I was gonna get it on the second button press, but let's try it one more time. So that is one. Let's try it one. Give it a second. Two. Okay, so for that, for some reason it worked that time. You, you may need to press FN and press that button 
and then it will connect you to your external display. Like I said, either you press it one time, two times, and then the third time it may connect, or once, give it a second, two, give it a second and connect. And the same thing just with holding FN. I hope I hope this helped you guys. It, it really took me a long time to get this figured out because uh, it was not automatically um, connecting for me. So I hope this gets it pulled up for you guys and uh, hope you liked the video. Take care.